Hotel Transylvania Plot Summary Hotel Transylvania is a quirky film mapping the lives of monsters who have built themselves a monster sanctuary to protect themselves from humans. Literature's classic figure of the Dracula is transformed into a hotelier, owner of Hotel Transylvania. As monsters enjoy their vacation at the hotel, an unlikely human threatened to turn their world upside down, especially when Dracula's freedom-loving daughter falls in love with him. Who killed Dracula's wife in Hotel Transylvania? Since Johnny's arrival at Hotel Transylvania, Dracula had been trying to evict Johnny without the monsters noticing. However, unable to do so, Dracula and Johnny bond over Mavis' 18th birthday party preparations. Dracula tells Johnny that his wife was killed by villagers when they found that they were vampires. This is also the reason why Dracula is paranoid about Mavis because he wants to protect her from danger. Sympathetic, Johnny agrees to leave after Mavis' birthday party. How is Johnny's identity revealed? After the plan to get Johnny to leave the hotel goes haywire, Dracula transforms his appearance to make him look like a monster and introduces him as Frankenstein's cousin. However, the hotel chef Quasimodo Wilson figures out Johnny's identity through his pet rat. Dracula freezes him to avoid him discussing this fact to the other monsters as Hotel Transylvania was marketed as a safe heaven from humans. By the end of the film, Dracula accepts that he had set up the angry villagers to prevent Mavis from venturing outside the hotel. At this time, a paralyzed Quasimodo enters. The monsters are unable to understand him, and so Mr. Fly translates his frozen language and declares that Johnny is a human. What do the monsters discover in the human world? Mavis is disheartened upon Johnny's comment that he hates her for being a monster. In reality, Johnny said so under Dracula's influence. Dracula realized that Mavis and Johnny had zinged, and since the zing happens once in a lifetime, Mavis is to be alone forever. Unable to see Mavis in such a state, he decides to bring Johnny back under his monster friend's encouragement. Johnny is on his way to the airport. After Johnny's footsteps disappear, Wayne the werewolf whistles for his kids, and one of his youngest daughters sniffs Johnny's shirt providing information about Johnny's whereabouts. Dracula and the monsters find themselves in human territory where people are celebrating the monster festival. They realize that humans love them, shattering decades-old misconceptions. Frankenstein asks humans to clear a path for Dracula, and they help him reach Johnny. What happens to Johnny? Dracula finds Johnny sitting in the airplane. Unable to communicate with him, he hypnotizes the pilots and apologizes to Johnny. Dracula then steers the aircraft around to let Johnny come back to the hotel. How does Hotel Transylvania end? Dracula brings back Johnny to the hotel. Johnny apologizes to Mavis as he was afraid of Dracula sucking all the blood in my body if he hadn't lied to Mavis about hating monsters. He confesses to Mavis that she is his zing. They reconcile. The monsters, Dracula, Johnny, and Mavis then proceed to celebrate Mavis' 118th birthday.